was weird. Robo woman. Robo woman. <laughs> and that comes with like. Oh, whoa. So I heard you're. Uh... Um. Whoa. Okay. Whoa has been proven to cure most forms of cancer, advanced HIV, blindness, and also aid in organ tissue replacement. HIV. This was released in 2019. It begins with the stock footage. Yeah, some stock footage, maybe, of L.A. There, that definitely is not there because it's whenever we switch to in Los Angeles, they're... 14 high school students are accused in a series of sex crimes. Whoa! The viewing audience is listening to a radio. The it's setting yeah. up like the, the, the state of affairs in the yeah. world. Yeah. And it's a like, dark yeah. world. It's giving us like a state of general catastrophe. Police say there was a combination of consensual and non-consensual sexual encounters. Every channel it changes to is a news station that's like somebody's dead. I think at some point it was like they mentioned a hate crime. Oh, 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 really the man accused of stabbing two black men reportedly admitted to police it was a hate crime. But then it cuts to our main character, who I, um, uh, Vivica, right? Vivica. No. no I don't really want to say. <laughs> she comes in hot. Is that her real face? No, her Vivica. name is Vivica, played um, by um, Donna, that, Donna Lee. Donna Lee Heising. So she's sitting at her office, and then her co-worker, who's played by Jonathan Nation. Nothing for you or HR to worry about. Jonathan Nation walks in at her co-worker. And they're talking about some bullshit. I really was not paying attention. But then he goes like, hey, like, you want to go out with me? And she's like, oh, my God, Jonathan Nation. You know, I have to at least ask you one last time if you'll go out with me. Even on my last day, you won't give up? Well, it's more like, hello, Jonathan Nation. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, like, it's my brother's birthday. We're going to go out and get drinks. This guy's being, like, creepy. Come on. Let's go have a nice dinner, and then we'll grab a couple birthday drinks with my brother and a few of his friends. She mentions, she says something about her mother works with special needs. She's yeah. been around special needs all the time, and he's like, boy, am I not surprised. Because you look yeah. like I grew up with people with special needs. You don't say. <laughs> we'll go on a date. We'll bring my brother, who is special needs, by the way, which is the most enticing date I can think of. Yeah. She agrees to go on this date, and then she okay, calls yeah. her friend. Girlfriend, friend. Her I don't, friend. It's um, her friend. Char Charlene. Sue Price. Sue Price. Carlene. Carlene. Oh. It is Carlene. Oh. Okay. Carlene. Oh. I, I don't know why I specifically remember this line, but she goes, "Let's go to Frank's," and Charlene's like, "Oh my God, we always go to Frank's." All right. How about Frank's? Don't we always go there? Has it ever disappointed us? I know. And I'm like, what? What is this conversation? What going? does this have to do with anything? Yeah, exactly. So they're planning like a dinner date afterwards. Oh, but before you go any further. See you then. <sighs> Bye. Oh my that sounds gosh. Sounds like a robot okay. having Bye. a conversation with someone. Like, oh, okay. Well, then. Robo woman. Um, cut the title. She is already the robo woman. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so then she goes on this date. Not really with the guy, and it's they walk down this hallway. What? A cupcake shop? Yeah. <laughs> the guy in the back is more in focus than they. Oh right, they go for an out of focus walk yes. in a hallway of a strip mall. Yeah, no, definitely a strip mall. What's the plan? My lighting's horrible. Oh, well, we've been saving up for a couple of years now. You can see the guy um, walking in the back of that hallway clear. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. It goes into the the park. All right, look, we're gonna cut through the park. Be there in 10 minutes, okay? Sit tight. You don't need to walk through it if you don't want to. And then she goes, oh, well, I got to conquer my fears. And I got to, like, You'll you protect, can protect me. me. And he goes, he goes, like, he, like, grabs her and he's like, yeah. No, it's okay. It's dark. Yeah. I need to get over these personal fears. Are you sure? Yeah. And you'll protect me, won't you? Sure. Okay. The guy takes her to the spot. And oh, by the way, you can't tell what the fuck's going on. It oh, is yeah, pitch it's black. You doing okay? God, it's really dark. Yeah. It looks like they drove like a car and they just turned the high beams on like, well, no, we got it. Jonathan, where are you? Oh. oh. You sure are. I knew, it. I knew that her friends were going to come. I'm here with someone. Plot twist. This guy's like really sleazy and his special needs brother is what? also very sleazy to ultimately sexually assault her. She, she kicks the special needs guy in the balls. Uh, so he stabs her in the sternum. Birthday present. 
remember what he does before that? Do you remember what he does before? No. <laughs> they spray with pepper spray, which blinds her. <laughs> wait, 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 what? You don't remember that? <laughs> they shake up and then just spray her eyes. She goes, she's like, ah! <laughs> and then they stab her. <laughs> and so her first response is she texts her friend to help her. really not be going well but not only does she text her she sends her her like google maps location okay where are you at what the hell are you doing in the park <laughs> don't call the police don't call your friend text them oh god I don't know what they do to you but then her friend gets there and her friend calls the police yes <laughs> <laughs> yes but please help it's my friend, she's been attacked. You could have just called the police! Yeah. <laughs> and it just, it doesn't make any sense. But so she wakes up in a ho in, in a hospital? Why is this say, hospital? Why are, why are <laughs> tarps like the default for hospitals? That's right, hold on. It looks like some place where you would get like your kidneys. In a maybe, hospital? Like, like... Uh, well, it looks like a tarp. <laughs> I'm here with you every moment I can. Tarp is just like the, it's such an easy way out. Just be like, put a tarp over it. Her eyes are burned so badly by the capsaicea and the pepper spray that she's permanently blind. The doctor's being like, she has a collapsed lung, she's blind, like all this, and how they're going to turn her into a robot. The doctor goes, well, she doesn't have any family, so yeah, you're going to have to decide if she wants to become a robot or fucking die. I know she wouldn't want to live like this. I also know she's one another chance at life. And she signs off on her to become a robot. Six months later. Six months later, yes. I hope that's okay. Here. Stop. Oh. Like, oh. The most adorable robot costume. Yeah, she it's has her like arm a, and... Like a rubber sleeve. Yeah, oh. she goes into the mirror and she gasps for what was approximately 30 seconds. <sighs> And they eat some pizza. Yeah, do you mind if I get started? I'm starved. Yeah, she sits on the couch and... The couch. And her partner, Charlene, is like... Carlene. She's like, oh, yeah, I, I want some I want some pizza. And... Yeah, it's, she eats pizza, bro. Abby fucking person. <laughs> the Ch Charlene... Carlene. Carlene says, I think you should take self-defense. Vivica says, no, no, no. I should take self-defense. That's a, that's a yes. great idea. I was thinking, what would you think about taking a self-defense class? N no. No. I think it may be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> and then she goes to take judo? That was the best actor in this whole movie was that dummy. She goes to learn to fight from the legend himself. I don't know who he is. You don't him. fuck with that man. Ooh. Oh, he's the legend. <laughs> <laughs> he does some of what I can only describe as the most intimidating display of martial arts. I have to agree with that. Judo instructor says you must like confront your past and why you must be trained. What? And she's like, I confront my past every, every time, time I, I look, look in, in a the mirror. mirror. I confront myself whenever ever I eat a pizza and I eat three <laughs> slices. And then she's like, I can't close my eyes. <laughs> I have to come to terms with it every time I lay down at night and I can't even close my eyes. <laughs> and then they train. Oh. It's so, like, it's so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> but then when she leaves, he picks up his phone and calls the, the, like, I don't know, the government, I guess? Yes, she just left. Well, not only did she meet, but exceed the expectations you set for her. She is ready for her vengeance, and then it cuts to her walking. So they cuts to her walking in a park. 
people. She was just walking for like ever. I don't know, dude. I don't know either. She walks. Set up the, the shot's brain. still going. And walks. But like the shot's still it. going. And walks. It's just shots of her walking. And walks and then does some Tai Chi. She's gonna power up. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, it's like a karate kid thing. I remember where he's like, I'm a walker. Was, what was she waiting for? This movie was an hour and ten minutes long. A padding. It was padding. She just like is by herself and it just makes in a big open dirty no field sense. and it's very awkward her moves and everything in this movie is awkward uh, yep that's her house she's in her backyard i honestly know it's really tough i really cannot tell you logically what like what the next part is she goes back home no she murders three people no not yet not yet not yet not because she goes back home and then she calls the dude <laughs> Hello? Look, I need a gun. He also had a cat, too, and I know, remember the cat was in the background? Oh, right, his cat's yep. ass was in the background. Um, come on, can't you wait a few more hours and come to the shop? It's the middle of the night. He, he's like, meet me in the park and wear something nice. She comes out in this, this, um, like, le tight black leather outfit. And there's two guys. Smoking weed, crack, I don't know. Smoking Something out of a metal pipe. The guy looks at her and says, and like, like, oh, come give me what something. What up, bitch? You want to fuck? Yo, bitch. You want for some action tonight? Just over here. Let's try it. And then it cuts to them both laying down and they're covered in ketchup. I mean, it's not, to, I'm not trying to, I don't want to sound like I'm defending no. what they did, no. but it's more she it's doesn't, more she emphasis. definitely doesn't represent the moral high ground either. But then she walks outside and there's a man who really is just minding his own business. Why is she going to kill him? I, I don't do anything. She's a villain. She just kills him. She runs up and kills him. So she's not really a hero. Yeah, no. It was, it was like 3 a.m. I have no idea what the point was, but he told her to dress sexy. But then she meets the guy in the park, and the guy in the park is like, um, I'll show you mine if you show me yours. And he takes the gun, That's right. and then he gives it to her, and she aims it at him. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. <sighs> I knew it. That'll be two G's. And two of these. Gra then grabs her tits. Is the natural sequence of events that would happen a in a deal. Of a illegal weapon. Yep, firearms. so she kills him? Oh, yeah, no, he dies. <laughs> I mean, look at Conor McGregor, dude. That's pretty much what he does. Whoa! And then it cuts to the daytime. Yep. And Two cops are walking around. Sorry, I'm a bit behind. There, there they are. The there are the some police. Of one of them looks kind of like a cop, and the other one is just wearing a hat and a tactical vest and a nice shirt. And Vivica and Carlene are walking by, but he's got gun holsters yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. So there's, and there's me? Robo Woman. And of course, when you murder people, the natural instinct is to go directly back to the scene of the crime the next day. Because I don't think she covered her tracks or anything. I don't know. It was in a bag. It was just in a bag. Oh, damn. Is he oh, not they're investigating a double homicide. I'm investigating the double homicide in the area here. It was a double homicide. But the three didn't happen in the park. Those happened in an alley. And then the one guy that did happen in the park was just the one murder. But they're investigating a double homicide. But in neither of the cases was it a double homicide. So these are the best police. Yeah, they're double homicide because there's two of them. Do you know what I think we should do? What's that? I think it's time for us to go on a little vacation. I couldn't agree more. They're sitting on their balcony. Vivica goes, oh, we need to take a vacation. Charlene goes, 
oh, well, where should we go? And Vivica goes, let's go someplace where there's a beach. And Charlene goes, oh, well, we're, right, we're 20 minutes from the beach. And Vivica goes, yeah, I was thinking of someplace a little more inclusive that has hot guys bringing us mango flavored drinks with little umbrellas in them. We get waited on by hot boys who bring us mango drinks. <laughs> It is really specific. Carlene immediately goes and finds a note left by Vivica for Carlene saying uh, she Please is stop. going to make them pay. Don't try to stop me. And Carlene then goes, no. Oh. Yeah, everyone in this them. movie just goes to. I was confused because I was like, so what did she think she was going to do then? And if she was trying to not tell Carlene what she was going to do, why did she leave the note to tell her that she was going to do it? I would just not tell her what I was doing. I wouldn't leave a note telling her not to stop me. Vivica walks out. There's a, a, a random man. He looks like he's intoxicated because he kind of like walking around. Oh, my he, God. I and forgot. He, and he just goes to his car and then she walks in front. Another random guy. Who's out there? Got any spare change, mister? What? Are you some kind of hooker? I don't have any fucking money, you crazy bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Get and she fucking kills him. He was just intoxicated going towards the car. So they were like, oh, he's going to drunk drive. Like, he's a well, bad person. Was he? Was he? And then it goes, and then it cuts. There's some cuts to the bar. Special needs brother is in the, the bar, and he calls his other brother who's, like, on his way. But then he looks out the window, and he's like, oh, my God, my birthday present's back. My birthday present's back. Dino. Pizzeria. Hey, Ralph, what is it? <laughs> it's my birthday present. And then the guy who looks like he's about to cry. Oh, yeah, the guy who goes like, like he's going to cry. Like, he looks like he's about to cry. They go running after him, and now they're in the park again. So then they go after her, and the first person she kills is black guy. The car, just turn the car on. And the the high beams on. Okay. It goes to the next guy. It goes to the guy who's about to cry. Ooh, dude. <laughs> And then the um, Johnny Nation comes up and he's running around. He's trying to find his brother, but then he finds his brother shot and is like dying. And then Robo Woman comes behind. No, him. no, 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 no. She died, dude. It's okay. I got you. Bro. Does she just shoot him like that? Disconnect because oh, they didn't even touch on that guy. Well, I'm just saying, isn't it just? She does something, doesn't he? I, 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 I. It was a catastrophe. Bobby! And then Johnny Nation tries to shoot her, and she's like deflecting it. And then she goes, "You want to be a man? Like fight me with your fists." Pew, tew, tew, tew. What was that? Did she, she just catch the ball? She's like, oh, she's the deflecting bullets. them. She's deflecting them with her robot arm. Yeah. And just like it just slaps. Oh, and she talks now with a robot voice. Yep. It's on her voice now. When she's never had it before. Yeah. Huh? She kills him. That's really the only way to explain it. She just she kills him. Charlene and the Carlin Carlene. Carlene and the police get up there, and the policeman's looking around, and he is very disparaged that, uh, to be in that movie. I didn't want it to be like this. It's going to be okay. I made those bastards pay. These bitches. Vivica is having the, her big moment of, oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't control myself. I'm a monster. And she takes off her eyepiece. And... Hair like a microchip. No. I can't oh, holy fuck! It was the, genuinely the most entertaining part of this movie, hands down. And it was really gross. I, I would have loved if the movie was more of that. There's like a weird jarring scene where there's like lights flashing and you're hearing lines from the movie. Look, I need a gun. <sighs> Yo, bitch. You looking for some action tonight? He passes out and wakes up back in our in our tarp hospital. Yeah, it's gonna... Hello, Evangeline. Hello, Doctor. Alex. I see that there were a few issues. There's literally a tarp. Except for a few emotional setbacks. 
suddenly this random woman, by the way, she's in it for just the last five minutes. She comes and she's like a government official. Well, you're assuming she's a government I'm, official. I'm assuming. And I'm assuming that that's the person who the Kung Fu legend called earlier. He won't remember it. Very good. You've done well, Dr. Wong. Who is she? Thank you, ma'am. I guess they're saying that like they manipulated her to go to that specific guy and they knew that and yeah. that specific guy was in cahoots with this woman who does something. That's how it ends. It just ends with the doctor. Mm -hmm. and I guess the whole movie was an experiment for her to see how she would perform. And I guess she performed very well. Her mental asset. This, I think literally this is more... what it's trying to like connect to that. She's like a governmental yeah. asset. And like that. Like I guess. But that's the thing is it's like I mean, RoboCop isn't. It was all part of the government's plan. The robo woman. Who is the oh. only robo woman in the 20, it was 2045, 20, sure? 34, 20, it's, it's, it's definitely before like 2100. This is all the stuff we'll have to find out in robo woman 2. There is a robo woman 2. So, yeah. And boy, does it look exactly as bad as this one. So. To be continued. Three, two, one. D. D. So that I think that means we give it a C. It wasn't entertaining. It was very boring. You're right. I just really liked the eyeballs, the eye thing when she took her glasses off. I, I just don't. I just don't think that. You're right. I think it's all. a D. It was a lot of her just walking. Would you really watch this movie again? No. I thought the movie was shit. So D. Okay. Robo Woman. D. D.